I'm going to show you a really great way to remove eye makeup. So it's very difficult when you're doing makeup, when you have to remove eye makeup before you start putting makeup back on. So there are a lot of people that will come in with a full face of makeup and time is money. So if you have to sit there and really try and take makeup off and it just gets all over and it's messy, you really have to kind of find a way to do it quickly, efficiently and neat. So I'm going to show you the way I've been doing it for years and it's worked for me and I think it'll work for you. This isn't going to be the only lesson that you're going to learn how to remove eye makeup. I'm going to demonstrate on myself this time. This is just an introduction. When I start doing makeup on model, then I'm going to have them come in with makeup so I can show you how to remove it on somebody else. So I'm going to show you on me. It's just going to be a good way for you to learn because sometimes learning and seeing things over and over again, it's really going to sink in. I'm going to tell you the things that you should look for when it comes to eye makeup remover and just cleansing for the skin before a makeup application. There are a lot out there that either are very oily and there's some out there that are too detergent -y, and you need to rinse them off with water. So you don't want to use either one of those. If it's too oily, it's just going to sit on their eyes and just feel too heavy and it's going to interrupt with the makeup that you're going to apply. If you get one that's really too detergent -y, it might irritate them and it's hard. You don't want to have to have them get up and have to wash their face after you did it. It's just going to take too much time. It's better to have them sit there, remove the eye makeup, remove the rest of their makeup, and have it just be seamless, like they don't even know what's going on. So the other thing you can do is use a makeup eraser. So you can see the makeup eraser, it's like a cloth. And the way you use it is you just use a lot of water. You just use a lot of water and you just wipe it around and it removes all eye makeup and the rest of the makeup. So if somebody comes in, and maybe they have a full face of makeup on and you have a busy day, you can give it to them, tell them to go in the bathroom and use a lot of water and remove their makeup. Then you have to take that home and you have to wash it. So that's why I don't like to use them in the studio. I'll use it at home, I'll tell people about it, but for the most part, I use the eye makeup remover. It's the perfect blend of ingredients that will help remove all makeup without causing irritation. Another thing you have to worry about is the type of cotton that you use. So I like to use these little cotton squares, a cotton blend. So it's not like a real fibrous cotton. That's what you have to be careful of. Don't use cotton like you can get the big rolls of cotton. That has a lot of cotton fibers in it. It's great for facials, not so good to use to remove eye makeup when they're sitting down to get a makeup application. You also don't want to use cotton balls. Cotton balls are also very fibrous and they can feel a little scratchy on the skin too. It's great to remove nail polish, not good to remove makeup or eye makeup when you're doing a makeup application. So there's also cotton rounds that are out there. They look like they'd be great, but for some reason they have a seam on them. And sometimes the seam can be really irritating, really close to the eye. I have no idea why, but just make sure you try it. If you see something and you think it's great, it's a good price, don't just trust it. Don't just put it in your kit and use it on a client that comes in and never use it on yourself. Make sure you try it first. Find out if it is too fibrous, if it's too scratchy, or if it has that seam that can irritate the eye. So don't just use something with never trying it before. Always make sure you know that it works great. So the wipes, I don't really like them. They have too many chemicals in them. They're more of a, of a paper material, the cloth that they use to wipe off the eye makeup. Um, if you find one that's good, even you put it in your kit, that's fine. I don't like them. That doesn't mean that you never found one that you, a lot of times those wipes will smear the makeup around. So what happens when you do that is so suddenly you have their mascara all over their face. Some people will feel a little self-conscious sitting in your chair with other people looking with makeup smeared all over your face. So that's the other thing. Make sure whatever product you're using melts the makeup off and it removes quickly without smearing it all over. The eye makeup remover I included does that. And I will show you the best way to do it. So this way you don't end up with makeup all over your face. I'm gonna show you now the best way to remove eye makeup. Like I said before, I will go over this again once I start doing models 
I can show you how to do it on somebody else. I'm gonna show you now on myself, just so you can get a quick preview of what to expect. It's always good to just keep learning and let it sink in. So this way you can listen to this, watch this, try it, and then we can do it again. So it's a good way to just keep practicing. So I'm gonna use my cotton square and I'm gonna use my eye makeup remover and I'm just gonna put like just two pumps on it. Two to three pumps, that's it. You don't want it oversaturated. And I'm just gonna do one eye. This way you don't have to sit here and watch me to take off more makeup. So you can see it's a little saturated and I'm just gonna lay it right on top of my eye. And today I have a lot of mascara on so you can really see it work. So you can see what I do is I put it on and then I'm gonna wipe my finger across the lash line. And now you can see the black coming through. I don't know if you can see that or not, but when you do this, you can see the black coming through. And I use my finger to go back and forth across the lash line. And this helps to remove and melt a lot of the makeup. So now it's melting it. So I'm just gonna hold it on there for a couple of minutes wiping going across on the top going underneath and now when i wipe it off i'm going to take it press down underneath and lift it up so you can see it took off a lot of makeup now i'm going to go back in hold it in i flipped it over so now i use the other side of the cotton square and i'm just going to hold it again and i'm going to wipe it again wipe up a lot of the makeup and now what I can do, I'm not even gonna use another one yet. I'll fold it over my finger and now I'll wipe up underneath my lashes because this is exactly how you put mascara on. So this is how you can take it off. So you keep wiping up under your lashes and you can see it starts taking off all that makeup that's on because that's how you put it on. You put mascara on by brushing it up and you can see it takes off a lot of makeup that way. And now I'm gonna wipe again. Wipe around. I'm just gonna use a second one to wipe a little bit more. Dab across the lash line again. And wipe across, lifting up any, any makeup that's left over. A lot of times too, you want them to keep their eye closed. If they try and wrinkle their eye, you know, by squinting, whatever, that's how the makeup can get inside the eye. So a lot of times the makeup is what stings the eye, not the eye makeup remover. You see, I'm folding over my finger again and just wiping up under the lash line. So the eye makeup remover is really great because you can remove eye makeup and you can remove the rest of your makeup too. So you just wipe around, do different sections at each time. So I'm going underneath, doing the cheek, doing the nose. And like I said, I'm only doing half my face. Do the lips. I'm gonna do all the lips. I'm gonna flip it around, use the other side, and wipe all over. So once you're done with that, I like to go over with a little bit of a mist. This way it just removes whatever is left over for makeup and whatever is left over of the eye makeup remover as well on your skin. I spray it on the cotton square and then wipe it on the face. I don't spray it on the face. So once you have that on the cotton pad, then you can wipe that around. Then you can pick up whatever makeup is left over. Make sure they feel nice and clean. Get everything off. And you may have to repeat this like two or three times. This is a quick tutorial on how to remove makeup and eye makeup before doing a makeup application. So it's a very quick tutorial. We're gonna show you again once we start doing models. I just wanted to give you a little quick preview so, so you know and you can maybe practice a little bit on yourself before you start doing models.